Lawmakers from the ruling Sendori Party continued their boycott of the parliamentary audit for a second day. They are demanding the Assembly Speaker's resignation as tensions rise over a motion to dismiss a cabinet member appointed by the President. Jim Yong-il has the latest from the National Assembly. The ruling Sendori Party has submitted a formal parliamentary resolution calling for the resignation of Assembly Speaker Chong se -kyun. The Senuri chief on Tuesday lambasted Chong for the controversial remarks he made during a parliamentary session last week about sacking the newly appointed agriculture minister. He also cast doubt on Chong's ability to remain neutral in his post. This person, Chong se -kyun, has no intention of keeping his political neutrality as an assembly speaker. The recording has revealed his thinking. The ruling party chief is referring to an audio recording of a conversation between Chong and a main opposition party lawmaker that was leaked Monday. In the recording, Chong is heard suggesting the ruling party offer a compromise on other controversial bills in exchange for the withdrawal of an opposition-led motion to dismiss the agriculture minister. The political tussle had escalated over the weekend after President Park Geun-hye vetoed the dismissal motion. The main opposition Minji Party of Korea urged the Senuri chief to end a hunger strike he started Monday and come back to the negotiating table. Party leaders usually start a dialogue to overcome gridlock, but all the channels for talks have been cut off as the ruling party chief is staging a hunger strike. We urge Chief Lee jong hyun to end his hunger strike and work with the opposition to resolve the confrontation. The minor opposition People's Party echoed the view, adding that a hunger strike is not the right way for a ruling party leader to protest. The rival parties aren't likely to change their positions on the dismissal motion for the agriculture minister anytime soon, meaning the audit deadlock is expected to continue for some time. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.